Hey guys, first time mom here coming at you with a new video. So let's talk about postpartum depression because it is a real thing. It's something that I am dealing with uh, right now. It sucks. I am doing a lot better with it. I'm actually on medication for it right now. Things are better, but in the beginning it was very, very difficult. And I wanted to talk about that with you today because it's important. We all need to start being more honest about it and not be afraid of being judged. We can't help our emotions, we can't help what we feel. It doesn't mean that we don't like our kids, it just means that big life change. They can't tell us what they want, they just scream about it. It's a lot, it's a lot. I thought I'd share my story. I think especially since I was recovering from a c-section, um, I was in pain, I couldn't walk, and then three and a half weeks after I gave birth to Lily, exactly three and a half weeks, uh, my grandmother passed away. I'd been really close with her, so it was devastating, um, and so I think that all of those things kind of together was just a perfect storm of shit, what am I doing here, and what, why, why am I doing this, and who gave me this baby, and why am I all of a sudden responsible for another life. I, I don't I don't want this. Lily was super planned. I, I wanted kids ever since I was a kid. I didn't know, I had heard the term postpartum depression, but I had no idea what it was gonna feel like and I had no idea what um, would happen. I knew that I'd have some sort of postpartum issues. I've had anxiety my entire life. I knew that there would be something, I just didn't know exactly what it was gonna be like. It was kind of a shock to me. I found myself regretting uh, my decision to get pregnant. There were times where I was just just angry and I looked at my baby and I just felt anger. Um, it scared me. I remember one night in particular, Lily had only been home for two weeks and it was my night to get up with her. I just I got up and I fed her and then she wouldn't stop crying and so I kind of left her in her nursery. The plan was never to put her in her nursery that that young. I just, I couldn't take it. So she's in the nursery. She went and I left and I closed the door. I woke up and I, you know, I slept for hours and I felt, I felt great. But then I looked at the baby monitor and I could see her thrashing around. She was crying, but there was no sound coming out of the monitor. I had turned off the baby monitor. That's why I slept so long. That's why I felt so good. I was like, oh my God. And I ran back into the nursery and I went to get her and she was just drenched in tears. Her pacifier literally slipped out of my fingers when I picked it up because it was so wet from all her crying. I started crying because I was like, oh my God, I'm a terrible mom. Uh, what the hell's wrong with me? Uh, how could I have done that to my baby? Another time, again, it was my night. She wouldn't eat. Well, I didn't know what was wrong with her. And she was just spitting it up, but then she was crying for more food. I didn't know what to do. Um, I started bawling. Um, I couldn't stop crying. I woke my husband up, so luckily he was able to kind of take over for me. And I felt like just the biggest waste of space and just the worst human and I felt like the worst mom and I I looked at Lily and I just I couldn't stop apologizing to her and I apologized to my husband and I just I couldn't I just couldn't handle it I was not okay in that moment and I was just a mess um, I was just a mess this is postpartum depression things like this happen it doesn't mean that I'm a bad mom even though I think that I am all the time I need to remember that I'm a good mom. On days where I'm not depressed, I feel like I am rocking it, but, um, you know, I do sometimes still feel like I'm a terrible mom and I'm doing it all wrong and this is wrong and nobody should have given me a baby because I can't do it. I'm just, I'm just doing it and I'm doing the best I can. A postpartum depression, it's a real thing. And if you feel like you might have it if you feel particularly sad, sadder than normal, or if you feel angry or the normal, or if something just doesn't feel right, just go see your doctor so that you can kind of nip it in the bud. Uh, that's what I did. I mean, I was only five weeks postpartum. The first weeks and months are hard. They just are. 
I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like everything was perfectly primos and puppies and oh my god, it's the best thing in the world because um, it's, it's really hard. But it does get better. I actually didn't believe that when people told me. I remember saying to somebody who just told me that that's not true. Uh, it might be true for you, but it's not true for me. Uh, Lily's always going to be like this forever and this is just my life. It's not. Things do get better for real. I can now say that things have gotten better, she's sleeping better, I'm sleeping better, I've been on medication for my depression, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. Postpartum depression is a real thing, it's important to get, get it checked out as early as you can. There you have it, uh, my experience with postpartum depression, I hope that it was helpful to somebody out there. Thank you so much for watching.